Hey, anyone seen the Bulls lately? Yeah, the league's poorest shooting team averaging 87 points their last three games with just four games scoring more than 100 points all season. So who was the team that Friday scored 123 points in defeating the Charlotte Hornets, 40 points in the fourth quarter, shot 52% and made 17 threes, had 26 assists, double figures on fast breaks, 9 steals, a game-saving defensive play and enough anger and indignation to draw three technical fouls. Wait, that was the Bulls? It means a lot because it's good for our team said Justin Holliday, back from his one-game paternity leave with a team and personal season-high 27 points and four of seven threes. It's good for us to see what it takes, what it feels like, to play together and win a game. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of energy, competitiveness. Guys were serious about getting their jobs done. Chris Dunn, obviously, pressuring guys up there, getting steals. That's how we have to play every night for our team to do well. Denzel Valentine, apparently winning the starting small forward spot in his second season start, had a season high 18 points with six assists, five rebounds, and four threes. Jerrion Grant had 10 points and five assists. Bobby Portis had 10 points and a pair of crucial three pointers when the Bulls trailed by nine after three quarters. Lowry Markkanen had 16 points a team-high seven rebounds and the game-saving defensive play by forcing a missed layup attempt by Kemba Walker with two seconds left and the Bulls leading by one. Rookie Markkanen cleverly adhered to the verticality principle of good defense in surviving the contact by Walker, who had 47 points in the Bulls' 123-120 win. Markkanen then made two pressure-free throws to effectively clinch the game. The Bulls broke a five-game losing streak and are 3 to 10 and starting a Western Conference trip in Phoenix Sunday. The Hornets are 5 to 9 in losing their sixth straight.